Gently pry the upper shroud from the lower shroud and remove both shrouds from the steering column. If equipped, adjust the tilt column as necessary to ease the removal of the shrouds. Insert the key and rotate the lock cylinder to the on position without starting the car. Push in the release tab from underneath the lock cylinder housing. This will enable the lock cylinder to be removed from the steering column. Remove the lock cylinder housing cover retaining screws. This will require T10 security anti-theft Torx bit. Remove the ignition lock cylinder housing cover. Remove the multifunction switch from the steering column. This will require a T20 standard Torx bit. Remove the ignition switch from the steering column using a T10 anti-theft security Torx bit. Then remove the ignition switch actuator pin assembly from the ignition lock cylinder housing. Install the new ignition switch actuator pin assembly into the ignition lock cylinder housing. Insert the ignition lock cylinder. Ensure that the retaining tab is fully seated into the ignition lock cylinder housing. Make sure the spring is seated correctly in the ignition lock cylinder housing cover prior to the installation of the lower cover. Reinstall the ignition lock cylinder housing cover retaining screws. Be careful not to over tighten to avoid stripping of threads in the ignition lock cylinder housing. Cycle the key from the off to the on position a few times to ensure free rotation of ignition lock cylinder after installation. Reinstall the ignition switch, ensuring alignment with the actuator pin. Reinstall the multi-function switch. Reinstall the upper and lower shrouds.
Snap the upper and lower shrouds together, then tighten the bottom shroud, retaining screws.